Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Earthrise Prowl. And this decal set includes four decal sheets, one on foil, and three on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Prowl, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Prowl looks great and very faithful to his G1 animation model. Taking a closer look at the figure, I love the paint applications there on the head sculpt. He's got the red crest, silver face, and blue eyes. Also has the Autobot logo right there in the middle. Translucent blue headlights. Let's see, the door wings. He has the police right there across the bottom. And that's pretty much it for the upper body. Down here on the lower legs, he does have translucent shins. Not a big fan of that translucent plastic, though the G1 figure had the same thing. Down here on the toes, he does have red right there that are the vehicle's tail lights. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Prowl in robot mode before and after. Toy Hex gives Prowl quite a few G1 toy throwbacks with his decal set. Taking a closer look at the figure, he gets new decals right there for the crest. Down here on the arms, he gets these yellow stripes and blue shields. Now you do have an option where you could go blue or black. I decide to go blue because that's more G1 toy accurate. He gets a decal right there that says police and the little star decal right there. On his waist, he gets a CHC decal, which is another throwback to the G1 toy. Or you could just give him this blue and yellow decal right there. Moving on down to the waist and crotch area new yellow decals down on the legs he gets new decals for the windows that covers up all that clear plastic and speaking of clear plastic there is decals that go right there on the inside of the legs and decals there on the outside he gets new decals right there on top of the feet highway patrol and down here you see tail lights that you'll see better in vehicle mode Great details as well here on the wings that you'll also see in vehicle mode and a green decal right there on the outside of the arm, which is another G1 toy throwback. And speaking of the G1 toy, we'll bring in G1 Prowl so you can take a look at those throwbacks. You see the blue shields right there. You've got the CHC there on the waist, the yellow decals on the crotch area. The same with the details there on the feet. I love it. I love when Toy Hacks gives us these G1 throwbacks. So there you go, guys. Prowl in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Prowl still looks really good and has a little bit more collar now in this mode than he did before with the addition of the red light bar. Now he does have translucent windows that go all the way around that would look good if you didn't see all of the robot junk inside. I'm never a big fan of translucent windows when you can see all the crap on the inside of the figure. You still got the police there along the side, the black on the front with the red Autobot logo there on the hood. Hate the clip wheels. I know there's third-party upgrades for that. I need to look into those because that just really makes the figure look cheap. Still got the translucent headlights there on the front, and you can see, once again, the tail lights on the back. So there you go, guys. There is one final look at Prowl in vehicle mode before 
and after. Prowl gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his vehicle mode, and the first decals you're probably noticing are the new window decals that cover up all of that translucent plastic, and I love the looks of those. I always think it's so cool that they add a silhouette of the steering wheel. He also gets a shield right there on top and a shield right there, a little star that carries over from G1. Also on the front of the vehicle, he gets a police logo there on the bumper. On the side doors, he gets new logos that say Highway Patrol, a new logo with a bigger font saying police, and a blue star shield. Now there are options for the shields. You got blue and black. I went with blue since that's just like the Generation 1 toy. There's also a new logo for the bottom of the doors that say Autobot City. On the spoiler back here, Highway Patrol. And the rear of the vehicle, he gets third brake light decals. Decals that go all the way around that have the lights as well. And a license plate that says Prowl. There's also one that says Police, but I went with Prowl. So all in all, a very impressive decal set, and I love the Generation 1 throwbacks that Toy Hacks did for the Earthrise Prowl. I think that is so cool, and a great love letter to us G1 fans. So there you go, guys. One final look at Prowl in vehicle mode after. I absolutely love what Toy Hacks was able to do for Earthrise Prowl. The G1 throwbacks just call to me, and I love the attention to detail, how they can incorporate these newer designs to kind of blend in with the old G1 style. It really adds a lot more personality to Prowl, and I think makes him stand out on the shelf just a little bit more. Not to mention in vehicle mode, I love the window decals, though I do miss the cell-shaded look, but these new window decals aren't that bad. Now, once you combine the Toy Hacks decal set with a third-party rocket launcher system and a Toy Hacks armory gun that I have on the way, I think that this Prowl is really going to make a figure that is definitely not above the law. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!